Definitely, they're pushing up and taking fights just like that. Mixwell punished, though, as he attempts to fall back. The nade stops anybody from trading. A little more attempted by Nuke. He's taking all the... Our first look at Patatex Reyna on this mainstream. A pretty solid start. He'll be able to find himself the kill, and they're not clearing him. They're actually hunting down Pith. The trade's coming back thick and fast, but it is left all on much of an investment. You'd probably feel quite disappointed as a G2 fan if they didn't manage to make the conversion on this round. You would, in fact, expect the conversion rounds of your second to be pretty down. Or Nuki. He's about to be pressured. He's got to be careful. Sneak their way through into A. Pat is waiting, but he takes a lot of damage, Mitch. Yeah, he needed a kill right away to heal back up, but it's not happening. Lal in with another, leaves Artist by himself, drops the spike, but that's all. Now to the site we go. Still. Two kills already in. Mixwell with the upgraded weapon looks for one down below. Nobody's peeking. They're playing this tight. The problem is, when you look at these attackers, there's two of them outside of the site. Mixwell can force an isolated duel down towards the spike, but maybe not anymore. Now they've got heaven control. They'll just watch for the cross, and this becomes a near impossible task. Avova about to peek, but Mixwell's timing as he crosses over. Whoa. It got him tickled up. It shouldn't be known. Mixwell's distracting. Artis is here. They have no idea about Ozzy. He gets away with two. Mixwell in with another. And it is falling to pieces here. Pora by himself and a 1v4. And a clean. Pora not shooting the eye. Could give things away. But never mind. He's going to get picked off anyway. And now we just look for this quick easy rotation to come in for the remaining players of over trying to pull them in with the grab well but ultimately it being destroyed gives some of that information away however mixel that's gone completely wrong he doesn't manage to blast pack out of there it looked like he'd be fine but i think he missed his key luckily artist is there Pora loves to make those flank plays and catches him off okay they're still on for this retake honestly if they don't kill pora they're probably not they probably decided to just save it through but now they'll See if they can get an opportunity at one more. And there it is as the wall fades. Another for Pit. They're going. They're starting to gear up for this site. The pull in play stops them from doing much. Laul through the box and Avova is left all alone. Pit sideswipes and takes him down, but has oh, no time, time left. That is going to be four to two. A tight round, but Heretics just said stops for that control. Uh, that they can't take. They haven't got a, a jet or an oh, omen to go up targets. above it. Mixwell in heaven. He wants to repeat for more. Nuki and Rubino holding for it, though. Even Lal joining the fight and popping a slow. But this time it's Pith that initiates. Mixwell's leaving him, but they're not ready for him to still be there. Pith in with the double, looking for more. Lowell is tagged up and in trouble down below. His teammate not able to help as Pora sits behind the cage. It'll fade away, but so will he as G2 get a flawless round more the fact that the rest of the players are quite far away. They have gone for a very quick rotation and somehow <gasps> is still alive. They've not cleared the site. You have to expect someone to be here. And now Ozzy oh. through the smoke has found another. When it comes to the buys, you know that you can get this much space. You know that they're looking to try and play retake. I wonder why we haven't seen the same sort of push. Now Mixwell already going to be popping that showstopper. It's actually going to be counter ultimates being expended though. What? How have they managed to do that with just pistol? Rabino is just about alive from the wall. Bangs! A quick scope needed, but Artis, he's here to save it again. Players just everywhere when they try to take a duel, and Artis capitalizes for two. Team Heretics popping the res. They want to commit to this round. They want it. They need it. And Mixwell. He's taking a lot of damage. He needs the shot. It's missing again and again. And eventually, Lowell closes that out. Ozzy falls. And the round is flipped. Information could cost them their life. It's Pora that I'm worried about. He's the one that's coming through me. But never mind. Nuke just deals with Ozzy straight away. And that's the man advantage towards Heretics with the spike planted. What? It doesn't last too long, does it? That was their ace up the sleeve. The fact that he's been defeated it's definitely a problem Lau in the corner he's trying to avoid the eye the leer but they are being picked apart again the retakes from g2 have been superb it's left all on tapora 
a one versus four, and he can't get anything done. G2 made that. So they're comfortable in taking the control, but look at the train of players towards the A side. Four of them here as Panatec falls. They decide to fall back, Kapoor. but now they've got to be careful. That Cypher sitting out in middle. He lets the first pass. The path left. is clear, he calls, but no, it's not. Pora about to take them, and indeed drops Pith before the ammo. His clip is what costs him his life. Luckily, so much damage has been done on the A site that they are only in a two versus three. It's still very much winnable if Artis gets the jump on Rabino as he goes down, and indeed he does. Two versus two, both players hurt in heaven. Artis, good damage onto the first. Aussie finishes him off with ease, and as Laul is all alone, he wishes he had a res, but it's the pistol. There's no chance. He has to come in here with the headshots, and they're set up to double peek him, isolating the fights one at a time, but even that isn't enough. This round alone so well orchestrated, combined with the previous. I like this new G2. I like it a lot. I only fear for what their social team is going to say if they take this. It's been a while since they could brag. Artis onto Avova. He doesn't get much more, but Rubino from afar. Lowell, they're getting this done. They're pulling it back. G2 maybe going to struggle to close this round out. It was so well played to start it off. Look at that swing by Pora. Mixwell left to do it by himself, but he knows exactly where Pora is. He's tagged up and it's done. There's no time left. In fact, he won't even escape. Neither will mix well, but hey, you'll take it because it's told down the site. He's all on his own. Evolva in trouble. The res comes up to Nuke. Oh, but how much can it do? Evolva's down and out of the round. A 5v3 as Pora wants to push on forward. It, what? They've just caught Aussie TP. Artist picks up a kill, but it's an even situation. It's winnable. Nuke up above, swinging on catwalk. There he is. Surprise for Artist as Pith is alone. The spike is down. Well, they seem to have an idea where he is. <laughs> Indeed. Well placed, no. but Lal goes. This is winnable. The camera out. He spotted him as well. Creeping around the right side. Surely Nuke left. knows this is a possibility. He knows. The pith could already be out, and indeed he does. That swing timing is perfect. He's given up on it, moving out and firing in towards spawn. This is Lowell, though, undetected. Patatek quick to trade. Nuke creating space. That was a headshot, Nuke. Beautiful stuff, Pith. He's caught the ulting breach shot in the back, though. Look at time. The same setup used yet again. The paranoia of Ova knows he's here, but Nixwell still gets away with one. That's all, though. Quick shut down by Nukia and Lel. Moving to the site. Ozzy gets the spike down. Walled off for spawn. They're looking for this fight, and Nukia is finding it. Pith quick to trade it back. Nade on its way. He's pushed into the open and challenged. Nukia, he's finally here to play and save the day. Between the two, Heretics... We're looking down and out of this game, Tom. I didn't believe that they had even a, a doorway to walk through to get back into this series, and yet they have opened up a whole new path. Spike down, B. Yeah, we started to see the, some of those tournament-winning players step up. Now, bear in mind, we always seem to highlight Nuki, I think Pora of Ova, but Lau was actually the like, tournament MVP if you go back a number of months. Players surviving, but... Just a manner of the aggression. Oh, the gravity well actually going to keep them in place. Mixor still manages to connect the shot, but Rubino's rotated in fast. He, however, will be caught off by Pith. Again, a hero rifle available to them, and by the looks of it, another afterplant. Yeah, most definitely. They've got a second rifle up, a Spectre in the hands of Patatech. This is now very, very dangerous indeed. Players moving up through the spawn. They take a peek, but Mixwell quickly shuts them down, and that's... A little bit deeper, I'd imagine, so it's harder to spam through. I know Mitch is happy about that. And other than that, this just becomes a full-on retake, but Mixwell, a little bit more aggressive oh. than they might have expected, just taking control as the jet. Three calls Eddie already in round number one, and while Pora... Let's see that Rainer, buddy. Uh, I expected big things. It's only going to be one. We're loving kitchen, so you're free to wide peek with the exception of the tunnel. Oh, 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 Rubino! That was a nice attempt with the classic going in for the right clicks. You know, in a round like this, you're not often going to get much damage done, so maximizing his chances by taking an angle that they wouldn't expect. I mean, what kind of a... Down mid. So much control already garnered, and when it gets into these close-range positions, that's where things can get scary. However, a sneaky little angle chosen by Lau puts them up two men to the good comfortable start for sure g2 around that they should be punished in and this time not getting away they can't take this aggression but pora well this is the confidence you gain when you're playing arena first kill goes his way and he's even going to be able to dismiss out of there getting further aggressive as well 
ripping a new one for G2, and he's not done just yet. He'll fight versus Artist, but this time it's at a loss. Lau looking to re-aggress as well, and Yuki's dropped the spike. This has become almost just a battle of a round of fisticuffs of Valorant. And they're trying to reclaim their own spike. Doesn't look like that control is going to go to them all too easily. Mixwell left alive in a 1v3. Now this guy doesn't blind him. Opportunity there. <laughs> well, it has started. New has got an angle. Now the wall is down and a free kill. Art is caught unaware. Oh, but New quick to trade his life back and fall with no weapon in his hand. Mixwell didn't stand much of a chance. And at the moment, G2, they're being torn apart. Left all down to Pith. Sheriff in his hand, and what was that? Sh and as he gets to the site, he should be caught off. The orb goes up, and inside it he'll go. He sticks the spike, and that could be the mistake that cost him his life. Closed out and dealt. Duels on the A side seem to be coming quite easily to them. The information not there that there's a whole stack up, but they're just dealing with it so easily, only taking one loss before overrunning the round. That was probably the for it i know in this context but arena in general that's what you want the mark goes out and they knew Patatek was pushing the info that nukie capitalizes on but mixwell's up we've waited a while to see it and here we go the shot to pora for two looking for more player peeking the back side into heavy traffic he keeps on getting it done but nukie the sole or defender i suppose on the retake he doesn't stand it. There's a quick response coming in. They know that they need to get onto this site. It's mostly pistols in play, but Pora! What a correction to clear off one. He's been spot. There should be more than enough time for G2 to set up post points. You will not kill my ally. Panatech will be brought back to turn it into a four on four. They know how important this round could be. Nuki, he's still going though. He gets his third kill, unfortunately, of over a little bit further behind. Goes for the no scope, connects onto nothing. And again, this utility is still there to be expended. He's actually going to put down the divide to try and hold them back. They can't spam through this. It would have to be utility. Artist coming over the top, looking to try and get him from above. He won't be heard. That is the sort of gift and a curse of the cosmic divide. And G. Oh, there we go. Holds towards yellow, it's a, a common enough one to come in. The kill goes towards G2. This is less than ideal, we shall say. As Ozzy picks up Nuke, the advantage maintains as theirs and what has just happened. Up close here, Lal has a chance to maybe catch them off guard. Look at this crossfire on mid, it's nasty. They're so dead. Patatek's gonna get the kill, and even if he didn't, Pith was so would be so quickly able to swing out and trade. Fight given to Port. Oh, oh, he's actually going to connect onto Pith as well. But he's not going to. Inside of Heaven, when Urena is the one that's tagged, it's never ideal. He's going to be the one moving forward first. And as we see up above, he goes down quickly. But worried about another on top. Patatek is not long for this world. The trade's back and forth. But G2 in the lead only for a moment at a time. With Mixwell low, Ozzy might want to pop that heel and get him back up to in fighting shape. And unfortunately, the same luxury is not there. Lowell, but at least that spike planted means G2 have to push into them, and they're going to do it so quickly. Lowell Lowell catching the headshot on the way. This is the man you'd want in these situations. Mick Swell, he's known for his clutches, but this crossfire might make things a little bit awkward. A Set up. Pit still has his wall, and he places it down, and that is just perfect. How do you stop this now? You have to get up into heaven. It's a predictable angle, and they can isolate your players on the site. Ozzy? Wants to drop down. He wants to... Oh, wait, hold on. Do they not know about this? Are they not, not going to check it? Yes, they are. Pith deals with a Vova. Okay. Now the wall goes up, and things become very, very difficult to get back into. Oh, Nuki sneaking his way through, but he's been caught by Pat. They've actually managed to get the spike to halfway. Lau will deny, but now it's left onto Rubino. Having to try and clutch this out, they're just going to defuse right in front of him. And G2, it's similar to what we saw in the last... And the Blade Storm on Mixwell instead. They decide not to use it just yet. Oh, Ozzy, good for the spray. Eventually, he took a couple of bullets and he'll self-heal up. Now they've got to try to get back into the site. No walls to play with like before. New key on to Patatech makes it a little bit less likely, but the timing, it's godlike as Ozzy comes out for a little. 
Next wall, smoke down. He's gonna be defusing that behind the wall. The recon comes through, but he's dead to a wall bang. Ozzy! Almost on for the ace. That was so damn close, and he would have had time to win the jump. Not quite making it all the way in that kill. It's so valuable, man, to shut down the blade storm with a backstab. That's a gift from above. They want to push through this wall. Oh, that shock dart even gets a kill. Oh, that's heartbreaking, man. Pith going up close inside the orb. His teammates coming through. But oh, the angle by Boar is so good. Dismisses away. He's in danger. And Mixwell eliminates him to close it out. I would need to watch that. A thrifty win for G2, bringing themselves ever closer. They've already spotted out Poor, and that's him gone. The fight between him and Patatek has only been going one way, but Nuki almost handed a bit of a freebie. I don't think Patatek expected more players to be there. No, I don't think he did. That was quite a quite an obvious Nuki. Almost gets the kill and ends up falling for it. Mixwell 5 HP. But Artis is creeping in above. They don't expect him here so quickly. Out of the smoke he goes. And they've all disappeared behind the walls, behind cover. Artis dropping for the free double. No, it's not the double. 20 HP remains. That looked like it was going to be. Puns aside, we have got the plant. Poor already picking off another. This is looking better for Heretics. An advantage oh, almost slipping away from them. But Poor has found another. It leaves Ardis and Mixwell to try and find this fight. Mixwell has a decent idea of where his opponents stand, but the problem is he needs to try and get a little bit further forward. The operator not ideal for these scenarios, and I think he's hoping that Ardis might be able to find something here. The problem now, the time is ticking. And this round is moving further and further into the favor of Heretics. The chances of their victory slim, and with Mixwell falling, I think Ardis almost just has to take a moment to try and save this. It looks like he's still trying to fight into this site. A chance for a defusal impossible. A chance for survival even less as his opponent is just around the corner. And his opponent even makes it the other side. Ozzy, he's found a gap around the edge for the operator in play. And also the Empress Pork. Ozzy's going to fall off. He just falls into the hands of his opponents. And now in a three on five, they need a hero play. The Cosmic Divide can be a curse, but Pora playing around the edge of it shouldn't miss these shots and even has the ability to dismiss away. There are no chance for the remaining two players. It looked like uh, Pith was trying to play Quake for a second, but let's see if he can come in with a big play. Unfortunately, not the backstab by Lowell. I think it's been uh, detected, shall we say, but it doesn't matter. Urbino, most of the armor stripped away. Mixwell looking to catch an angle with this played storm and oh he sees the head coming over but can't deliver the knives he loves going for these defuses but they're all too ready for it the wall bang from Pora seals the fate of Mixwell man advantage now times two but Patatek quickly pulls one back don't have much to obscure the vision they want to get up there take these duels as quickly as possible so as not to run out of time Nukie misses the shot that's a third kill for Patatek on this retake a fourth and it's all the way for the ace Patatek what is that 12 to 10 G2 in the most unlikely of rounds bit of danger artist here to quickly help but he tries to be Robin Hood out with the shock darts eventually deciding to use a weapon Pora Getting lots of kills on this one. Pulling it right back into their favor. The showstopper just to ensure nobody is all that close. And we have Heretics with the advantage. With the post plan. G2 have two opportunities to close this out. This is their best one. The res now committed. They know they want to go for it. G2 move forward. But poor again. That immovable object for them. Popped up a bit of vision obscurance, but it doesn't help at all. Pith goes straight down. They mark the bomb. They take the kills and leave Mix taking the hit, which considering he has mostly been their B-site defender, and that has been where a lot of the pressure has been coming over the last few rounds, him not having a gun is definitely a problem. Now, they invested a lot once again. You, you had the res put in, the Empress... They should know that this is a favorite setup, but the Battle of the Rainers goes to Patatek. He spots three and is eventually taken down. The numbers equalized and things again get so tight. That spike, it looks like it's going to be planted almost uncontested. And indeed it is. The retake is on. Mixwell looking to try and hold the back lines. We see the stars placed once more to try and deny in the afterplants. A little bit of count utility being expended of over holding onto the cross. Mixwell likely to be the first point of contact. He spots a 
connects. It's left on Talal, and he's the flanker. Looking to try and come around the back. The wall bank could help him here, but he knows the Mixwell's going to be waiting. They're just denying this one. Mixwell hits the shot, and the defuse.